Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Galaxy of Pen and Paper on iPad. For now, we've reached our rep of 400. That'll give us an XP bonus, which is pretty great. Next, we will get Deep Scan. For now, let's continue the campaign, shall we? The space plot thickens. Head to bridge to continue your journey. All right, to the bridge. But first, some garbageite. Maybe. Scanning. Scanning. Yeah! garbage Oh, uh, well. Might as well do it now before we need it. Yep. I'm that kind of player. <laughs> Alright. We got some garbage -ite. To the bridge. If we can make it safely. Through the streets of Neo Tokyo. Alright. Now, back to the bridge. Hmm. I just got an email saying some new RPG modules are out. Ooh, back to reality. Hmm. RPG modules allow us to use new planet types, new monsters, even new classes. Let's order one right now! I can only buy one with my allowance, though, so choose wisely. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got body and power with Bad Ape. Hmm. We don't really have a mind person yet. We have senses with our bounty hunter. So, Medtex Sans Frontiers. Or something. Okay, yep. Forest enemies. Yep. Okay, good choice. I'm downloading the files. You can try this module's exclusive mission wherever you feel like it. Whenever you feel like it. Playing a space setting is a really different experience, huh? I'm glad we're such an open-minded group of role players. Some people on the online message board said this setting has porks. Are we going to fight some? Maybe. You've got the whole of the verse ahead of you. But hey, Bad Ape, don't get carried away on those message boards. You might spoil yourself some of the surprises I've got in store. Yeah, it's more fun when you don't know what creatures may appear. Though, actually, I guess I have to admit I've been chatting to one or two people myself. Just be careful, okay? I'd like to keep metagaming to a minimum. Anyway, that's enough time in the real world. Back to the, the nebula, everyone. Oh, if only I could change that name. Oh, if only I knew what I know now. But then again, that is metagaming, in a sense. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Well, we've got that door. For now, meta shop. Anything else we can do? No, nothing else. All right. I thought I was on the campaign quest. Start the mission. Episode 2. The Wrath of Beta. Or B. We have space for one more person on our server. We should invite someone to play. Yeah, narrating for more people would be cool. Not too many people, though. Click an empty slot to add a new role player. Yeah. Okay. So, we want the new class. Is there a new class yet? What? No? Ah, but we just downloaded that thing, right? Did it not work? Hmm. Well, we were going to go mind. I wanted that new class, though. Truly, this disappoints me. Oh well. Anyway, we've got a green. They seem pretty mindful. Inventors of four dimensional space chests, too. Okay. So the engineer will support the party and blow stuff up. And the romantic. Uh, what does she do? Better chances to bring good events. Okay, good mind on the thinker. So he can move around the battlefield, if we so desire, without ending his turn. That's decent, I guess. Ooh, more XP. Hmm. Okay, socializer. Discounts with weapons and armor upgrades. That'd be nice. And the show-off. Hmm. 
Okay, so we kind of want him to be on more of a senses character. That will be more in the front line. Um, this guy, we want in the power roll. So we either want the socializer for discounts, or the thinker for the stats more than the strategy. For some reason, that ascot reminds me of Fred from Scooby-Doo. Heh. Anyway, so... Discounts on weapons and armor. That seems like a good idea to me. And it'll make them a little bulkier with the red die, the body die. Alright, so what's to name our new role player? I do see a panda or a skull. Hmm. Well, I think. We have no choice. Susie. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go with Susie for now. If you come up with a new name, well, let me know. For now, I'm pretty sure this is a girl. Pretty sure. All right, Susie, join us. Thanks for inviting me in, everyone. Welcome. You guys met each other over in a space cantina and are now traveling together. Now your characters know each other and we can resume playing. I was very charming in that cantina, BTW. Of course you were. Now let's get back to the game already. Alright, Susie. You said it first. You suddenly receive a holo call. Is this the nebula? I got your holo ID from Professor Orin. This is indeed the nebula. Cool. Very cool. Tell you what, I need to get to Theramaga, but a freaky cool dude like me, you know, I can't go riding around in just any ship, you get that? I want to ride a cool ship, and I hear that your cool ship is heading out that way. Okay. And you are? Strange that you don't recognize my dashing good looks. Most people watch the interstellar news, and I am, after all, the president of the galaxy. President? Yeah. Breadbox Bezelhop. <laughs> President of the Galaxy. Oh man. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think it's Zaffa Beeplebrox. Is President of the Galaxy in that? I was going to say, his character design reminds me a lot of that. Anyway, moving on. Don't you cats recognize me? Look, here's a presidential transport order. He uploads a file to you, which. Roll. Looks very official. Let's go, chop chop. Presidents can't wait. Gee, okay then. But something smells like dried dolphins here. Come pick me up in Neo Tokyo, hi. Okay. The president has forced er, ordered you to carry him around on the nebula, and no one refuses a presidential order. All right, back to Neo Tokyo. Well, President Breadbox. Let's meet. Oh, Bezelhop, my bad. As you enter the spaceport, President Bezelhop immediately approaches you. Hey, you cats actually came. Nice, nice. I'm ready to be escorted to Theramaga on official business. Come on, a president has no time to lose. He promptly boards your ATP. We'd better escort our political passenger and be done with this. All right. And yeah, nobody needs healing, right? Just in case. <laughs> Okay, what level is Susie? It looks like she's nine, right? Okay, we have nine skill points. That's cool. Ooh, so we get to customize Susie. Hmm. Okay, it looks like the engineer could be a tank of some sort. Ooh, you can slow enemies. Anyway. Ah, uh, no, I should do this. Okay. Alright, gas cloud. Ooh, okay. Yep. We want you. Unlock. Unlock. Okay, gas cloud goes in our final slot. Mm. Okay, we can ignore shields if we want.
Okay. It looks like the engineer likes giving itself high threat, so it was good we got more body on our engineer. But we may even just <laughs> completely ignore that. Ooh, and we could get deep knowledge. Ooh. That first aid is a good first aid. Oh, this is passive. Nice. What about this ability? Okay. We could get burning sense as well. We might want to get science re. Having good shields would be nice. This is going to be good since poison will be huge. Okay, we're going to move you over here. And I may regret the lack of moving enemies that I have on my team, but for now, it seems like we don't need it. So we're going to leave our last points for now. Because I'm just trying to debate what is actually useful on this character now. Especially since we are going the poison burn route. Regardless, let us move on. Enough leveling up. Okay, Susie, where to? Ooh, new ship. Why is the nebula rattling like that? I don't know, Bad Ape. I'll run some tests. Something weird's going on. Stay alert, everyone. Okay. Gate to the Roddenberry system? Ah! Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is from Andromeda or not. But Gene Roddenberry made Star Trek in the show Andromeda. So, yeah. Pretty big sci-fi author. Okay. Theramaga. Level 13. Did I do this too early? Hmm. Uh, planet... No one can pronounce this planet's name. <laughs> so most people just call it Bob. Uh, and there's a hostile ship orbiting. Huh. Okay, well, to Theramaga. Let's hope we're not biting off more than we can chew. Oh, there's a boss fight coming up. Because our figures on the table are getting punched. Hmm. So with that in mind, let's double check. Yeah, if we've got everything we need. Hmm. Susie's health is really low. So I might actually invest... No. I'm going to get first aid. It's just a decent generic skill. So we'll put it there. Alright. And I would like to switch my party order. Okay. There you go, bad ape. Okay. 10% damage, 10% threat. Okay, we'll actually put her up here. Alright. Hmm. That should work. Well then, you land on Theramaga. There's nothing here. Such a barren place. Hey, Mr. Prez, what do you... Hey, where is he? I think he was in the bathroom. You see the nebula up there, slowly starting to leave Theramaga. And you get a hollow call. Hey, don't you cats worry, I'll take real good care of your spaceship. If I can figure out how to fly this thing, that is. Arr, let's hurry up before he leaves us stranded here. You quickly return to the nebula's bridge, but find no trace of bread box. Let's look around, he can't have gone that far. <laughs> Anger. You find bread box on the cargo bay. This really isn't the engine room, is it? Everyone roll a mind check. You pass. Wait a minute. The galaxy is run by a council of representatives of every race. It doesn't have a president. Catching me red-handed wasn't enough for you to figure that out? Eh, I'll just do this the hard way. Come on, robots. Time to go to work. Robots sprout from his luggage. 
Well, well, they don't look like Marvin. They look like <clears throat> um, banana dudes combined with battle droids from Star Wars. I find this hilarious. Okay. Hmm. So we are going to just go ahead and poison. We're going to try and get red box. Poison is applied. Awesome. We are now going to poison one of these droids and hope it works. Okay. We're going to mark everybody. There we go. So now they can't dodge. Okay. The poison works through the shield. And they're all attacking Vivian. Okay. Good job, Betty. Mark resisted. Uh -huh. So he can dodge stuff now. Gas cloud. On this guy. So that should cause burns and poisons and things. Oh, it's beautiful! So beautiful. Okay. Vivian doesn't need healing. Our attack deals 18 to 26, so we could deal more damage. Let's deal more damage to red bucks. Alright. And I don't think Bad Ape can hit red box. Nope. So we can take out one of these droids. There we go. We'll just take it out now before he can buff it. Alright. And poison will kill that one. Excellent. Oh, this combo is so good. Okay, and poison's going through the shield. Okay, what's he going to do? Waste time buffing his one droid? Ha! <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I don't need to heal anybody either. So we're going to force a slowdown. Slow it down, breadbox. And he's immune to slow. Okay, well, fine then. Wait, virus costs just as much as piercing attack. Why would I ever use that over virus? Hmm. Oh, and we healed everybody. Um, I think we can take him out with a normal attack, but I'm going to use a power attack just in case. Yoink. Oh, uh, that's right, droid. You're going down. Okay, mark and poison. Yep. It went down with the sickness. Well, all right, dear viewer, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.